What's going on, Collectors Nation? It's Jim here with another episode. Let's talk full-size helmets. I get asked all the time about my full-size helmet collection. Uh, it's one of the things that I enjoy collecting the most to go with my Hall of Fame baseballs. So let's talk about helmets. I am a huge Denver Broncos team. When it comes to the NFL, this is my team. This is who I'm going to vote for when they're terrible and when they're good. So uh, I got that from my dad. But as you can see here, it's signed by, by Elway himself. Um, it's also signed in silver paint. You can get it signed in Sharpie. A uh, couple things about this helmet. I like getting helmets that are signed that they wore. So I'm not going to go get a speed helmet or some, um, you know, ice helmet or all these different helmets that are out there to have a player sign it. Uh, I enjoy getting the, the helmet that they actually wore when they played football. This is also a replica helmet. So you'll hear people say authentic or uh, full-size replica. I do replica helmets, and the reason I do that is because they're about $40 difference in price compared to a full-size um, a full size uh, authentic. So, you know, I prefer to have the replicas. There is an instance where I think uh, authentics do make sense. And let's talk about it here in this case. So really the difference between a full size rep and a full size authentic helmet, the helmet is actually bigger. So when you're trying to do a custom sign piece or a multi sign piece, the authentic makes more sense because you get a bigger helmet. I uh, also would recommend if you're going to do a Hall of Fame project like this to take the sticker off of the left side of the helmet. So you always get the helmet signed with the face mask facing this way. So this way. To you, it's this way. So what I would recommend is take this sticker off because it gives you more real estate to have the players sign. I'll do another video on this helmet specifically um, because I can do a whole video or three videos on this helmet alone. It's signed by like 40 something Hall of Famers. So also when you get your, if you're doing a multi-sign helmet, don't have them put the sticker back here. Have them put the sticker on the inside. As you can see, I have a sticker in there too. Because when you start sending this thing off to get other signings or you're getting authenticated, you don't want to have a JSA sticker, a PSA sticker, a player sticker, all, all, um, all on the back of your helmet. So what I would recommend, and again, we'll do a video on multi-sign helmets uh, later on, but I just kind of want to talk about why I would do an authentic over a replica. Again, it's like $40 difference, so why spend the 40 bucks? It looks exactly the same. So back to helmets that the players wore. I got this last year at the National. Joe Namath signed it. It's on a TK suspension helmet. These helmets are awesome. If you look at the inside, they've all got they've got the webbing in there and the rope and all this cool stuff. Uh, I've had it authenticated on the back as well. And you know, Joe last year was at the National. I hadn't seen him at a show in a very long time. It seems lately he's doing more shows now. So uh, you can actually get him. Um, I didn't pay for the inscription. I just the idea of paying eighty bucks for a guy to write Hall of Fame just irks me, so I don't do it. Uh, I know a lot of people do do enjoy that, and if, if it was free, I'd love it. But I'm not going to pay eighty bucks because I can for eighty bucks I can go get another auto. The other helmet I have out right now, Bart Starr. Bart was awesome. Uh, the second show that I ever went to, he was at it. Uh, it was uh, a TriStar Houston show. He hasn't been to a sh he'll never do a show again. He's not he's not in good health. Uh, it's been authenticated here as well. With this helmet especially, I wish I would have got the Super Bowl MVP inscription as well or Super Bowl champs inscription on here. I only got one. A couple of my buddies got both of them. And it's one of those things that I'm kicking myself that I didn't have that done when I got it. So um, these are this one's signed in Sharpie. Most of the time, if I'm doing black, it's done in Sharpie. Every other color will be done in paint. Um, it just, I don't know, I like it. I have a Terrell Davis that's signed in orange paint, and it looks sick. So if you guys have more questions about full-size helmets, please, please leave a comment. Uh, like the video. Dislike it if there's something that I can do better. 
I have quite a few different helmets. I mainly do quarterbacks on full-size helmets, and I try to find the helmets that they played with. This Elway helmet, because I am a Broncos fan, will be replaced, and I'm going to get a statted-up helmet with a ton of Elway stats. I just haven't decided to do it yet, but I'd rather have one than not and get one later. So better to have and then get later. Um, also, I didn't get this authenticated when I was there. This is a, another rookie mistake that I made. If the guy's going to be signing at a show, pay the extra money and have it authenticated right there. Why walk it over to JSA or something like that and then they can fail it if they wanted to. It doesn't make sense, even PSA. And you have to mail it or whatever. So have the guys put their stickers on it if you get it done somewhere. If it's single signed on the back, if it's going to be a multi-signed helmet, more than let's say one side, you know, you're going to fill up this side first and then you're going to go to the back side. Maybe the, I call them great, great players or Hall of Famers on one side. And maybe the, the just great players on the other side. But again, to each their own, I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts on it. I have several multi-signed helmets. I have a Bills multi-signed helmet, a Texans helmet. I'll do a video on that and show you kind of the rookie mistakes of what not to do when you get multi-signed helmets. But thanks again, guys. The, um, the comments, the likes, just everything. It's re, it's re encouraging, making me want to make more videos for you guys. Again, I have a ton of stuff. Please let me know what you guys want to see. Um, again, most of these are signed, going to be signed with a uh, Sharpie. Um, but I do have quite a few that are signed in paint preference to you guys. Um, it really, whatever you like. Also, when you get these things signed, get them to sign really big. And you have this beautiful signature on there. And most of the guys get it. They understand it. Uh, some of them you have to be a little more uh, encouraging and be like, hey man, sign it really big. Or if you're going to send it in, put stickers on it all over that says sign here. Um, and then pitfalls with multi-sign helmets. Sometimes you get guys that get a little excited and give you these big signatures when you're trying to fit little guys on there. And then you get, you know, Guys like Rayfield Wright that have to squeeze it in this little spot here. Um, or Mel Renfro as well. So, again, we'll do a video on that. I'll tell you everybody that's on it. But um, that's just some of the things that I have. Somebody asked me to do a video on full-size helmets, so I thought I would talk about it. Always the helmet, the face mask is always going to be facing towards the right when you're looking at it. Um, every helmet that you buy will be that way. And then multi-sign helmets, again, you're going to fill up that one side and then switch to the other side. So again, guys, thanks. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. I appreciate all the um, comments that you're leaving. And thanks. Have a great night.